You're quite right. How good are Leeds? I, I told you, I was there last week. They were disappointed at Brighton. They were very... They were disappointed. Really poor. Um... But I knew they would bounce back, and didn't they just without the result? They did. Uh, how good is Stuart Dallas? Oh. He's just oh. great. Goals from Stuart Dallas. He's Bamford, been unbelievable. I know. <laughs> um, all but ended Spurs hopes for European finish towards the end of the season. Uh, really disappointing for them. Uh, reacting to the game at the weekend, Sports Breakfast, Tony Cascarino suggested that Spurs need a manager like Marcelo Bielsa. A few months back, I said that you know, when Leeds, oh, sorry, when Spurs were looking for, considering a new manager, I said that Bielsa, uh, I upset a lot of Leeds fans, got a couple of letters about it as well. And the reason, the reason why they were mm. upset is because I'm right. They, they don't want to lose their great manager. And he probably wouldn't want to leave Leeds anyway, because he's very committed to that football club. But it's exactly the reason why Tottenham needs somebody like him, because of the way his team play. Mm. You know, it was a complete mismatch in in effort and, and desire, motivation yesterday. I, I think that's amazing that he got letters about it. Well, I mean, I did see it as well, didn't I? I said it weeks ago. I mean, I'm trying to keep it quiet. Yeah. But I did say it weeks ago. I said, Brent, the two people that they should go for would be Brendan Rodgers and Bielsa. Mm. But I didn't want them to leave Leicester or Leeds. Can I speak normally now? I think so, yeah. Good. Um, so I said that, um, mm. and I'm. It's obvious, and Cash is right. I mean, if you're Spurs, you clearly want to get the best available, and two of the best available would be Brendan Rodgers and indeed Bielsa. But I would be gutted if Bielsa left Leeds because I love the job he's doing. I love Leeds. I love the way they've, they've played the game this season. I just love the way they've entertained us. They've been a great watch, apart for last week against Brighton. Can you hear this? That's you typing me a letter. That is angry Leeds fans now <laughs> on their laptops. Yeah, but I did say it quietly and they might not have heard, would they? They're Some probably of them. tired this morning from all the celebrating, aren't they? Yeah, listen, I hope I don't think it'll happen. But if, but you've got to be realistic about it. Cass is right. Your manager's doing brilliant and he's going to attract um, you know, attention from other clubs. But I, I hope he doesn't go and I don't think he will go. Hypothetically, um, why do you think a manager like Marcelo Bielsa would get the best out of the players that are at Spurs at this time? Well, just his, his style of play. I mean, his style of play, he gets them um, incredibly fit. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he gets them playing in his style. Um, and as I say, they all buy into it. The Leeds players clearly all buy into, um, you know, what's an offer. And it's just, and it's great to see. It really is great to see. I know I don't want to keep harping on about the Brighton game. You know, you know, Phillips obviously out and Rafinha out, and and they didn't seem to, they just didn't seem to get going. To be honest with mm. you, against a Brighton team that were very good. But on the whole, let's be honest about it. How good a watch have have Leeds and Bielsa's team been? And they just look like a side that you know mm -hmm. that they, they get what the managers want them to do. And they do it without any problems and their fitness levels are absolutely superb. I was listening um, across the course of the weekend, especially on Sundays, where I always listen to Sam Matveis, Andrew Cole, yep. Barry Groves. And I listened to the boys yesterday, yeah. Darren Bent, Darren Ambrose, Crookie, yep, those guys. The and um, the conversations about, about Spurs will keep coming round because obviously at the moment they've got their interim manager there, Ryan, um, but they have to sort out who they're going to get at some point in time if they haven't already. And the guys were kind of saying, do Spurs as a club need to lower their expectations and I don't mean in terms of getting a manager who isn't as good but maybe one that isn't um, as well known or isn't you know a you mean a, like Graham Potter or something like that or? yeah yeah and that's no disrespect to Graham Potter but no, obviously when you're saying that's... Jose Mourinho's won everything he, he, there is no, to win in the game it's clearly not a disrespect it's anything but a disrespect to Graham Potter I actually mentioned him in the, mm. for the Spurs job it's you know the fact that he's getting a mention for the Spurs job would indicate that he's done a very good job at Brighton mm. and in, and, and uh, his team have been playing well lost a couple of men get sent off yesterday at Wolves I, I saw a bit of that but no I, I hear exactly what the boys are saying Spurs are a team that really, and a club that just, and they fascinate me in many ways, would say, because, you know, you, you talk about clubs that underachieve effectively, and I just think Spurs are one of them, I really do, I mean, I'm not saying they should bring it out and win in the title against this Manchester City side, you know, but they should be picking up more silverware than they do. Mm. Also, I suppose really, 
you're only suggesting um, that they should lower their expectations from Mourinho because before they had the foresight to bring in Maurizio Pochettino, yeah. who hadn't won anything excellent. and was at Southampton. Champions League final. So, so they have a good eye for that. You, mean that, you know, mm. that kind of a manager coming through would be a, would be incredible. So maybe that is a, a Graham Potter elk or someone like that. Um, Spurs fans, we do want to hear from you this morning. Eight ten eighty nine at TS Breakfast. What have you made of this season? Who would you like to come in next? Um, because that really is a topic of conversation around yeah. Spurs at this very moment in time. Um, interesting to know what they'll do next or whether or not they've already done it. Harry Redknapp actually in, a, in an article he wrote a few weeks ago said they wouldn't have got rid of Jose Mourinho unless someone was already done, unless they had their eye on someone, they had a deal agreed. Um, so all of this speculation, who knows, someone could already be in there. You are listening to TalkSport Breakfast, Laura Woods, Ali McCoy. If you want to get in touch, 8 to 89 at TS Breakfast, the time is 26 minutes past six.